guys, we're going to be showing you a little bit of the Miller Function and Participation Scales assessment today. Um, we are doing this assessment on a four-year-old played by Elizabeth. Haley is going to be playing the therapist in the first round of this assessment. The first portion is a gross motor portion. We're going to be doing two activities um, from the gross motor section, which all have four items. So I'm going to explain a little bit of this first activity we're doing. It's called the statue game. And the four items include having the child stand on their right foot with their eyes open, having the child stand on their left foot with their eyes open, having the child stand on their right foot with their eyes closed, and then their left foot with their eyes closed, and the therapist is going to be timing the child during this activity. So I'm gonna let them take it away. All right, let's get up and get ready to play. We're gonna stand up like this and copy me. We're gonna stand really still like a statue, okay? We're gonna count to 10, ready? One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good job. All right, so now we're going to stand on one foot like this. Bend your left knee, there you go. So stand very still. I'm going to count and I'll tell you when to stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, now we're gonna stand on this foot like this. All right, now you do it. Stand very still, I'm going to count. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right, now we're gonna stand on this foot and close your eyes. Stand very still. I'll be right here. We're going to count out loud. Ready? One, two. Put down. All right, now we're going to stand on this foot. Okay, so bend this knee and close your eyes. Give me count to ten. Ready? One. Now we are going to be completing the jumping game. This is one of the gross motor activities within the M Fun. Um, there are three items in this one. So the child is going to jump in together, out together, and be timed for 10 seconds. They're going to jump side to side and be timed for 10 seconds. And then they're going to jump forward and backward and be timed for 10 seconds. Elizabeth is going to be playing our four-year-old child, and Haley is going to be playing our therapist. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth, now we're going to jump side to side. So we're going to start over here. Now we'll go back. All right, so let's do it a couple more times. Ready? We're gonna put both feet together this time. Good job. All right, one more time. All right, now you're gonna jump and I'll tell you when to stop. You ready? All right, ready? Next to me, we're going to jump forward and backward. Okay, so we're going to do this. Jump over the line. You jump over the line with both of your feet. Try one more time. Good job, you did it. All right. <clears throat> and then we're going to go backwards. So ready? Like this. Over the line again. Both feet. Ready? So next we're going to be doing the fine motor tasks. Um, one of them is going to be the clay play game and that just involves using modeling clay and um, making different shapes using either both hands or one hand, testing for bilateral coordination or unilateral coordination as well as um, hand strength. And this is all going to be timed within 10 seconds and we're going to see how they're going to do. 
All right, Haley, we're going to play with some clay today. I have two balls here, one for me, one for you, and we're going to hammer this ball flat. So we're going to put our hand like this, and you're going to watch me hammer it, and then I'm going to tell you when to do it, okay? Now it's your turn. You do it. pieces. That doesn't look so much like a nice ball anymore, does it? Okay, we're going to make it round again. Now, make a flat cookie like this. Make some worms. Okay? Do this. Make a skinny worm. Good job. All right, Haley, now we're going to make some more worms, but only with one hand. Is this the hand you like to use best? Okay, so you're going to use that hand for me, and you're going to roll your ball into a worm just like this. Now you try it. Good. I'm going to roll this back into a ball for you. We're going to use your other hand now, okay? There you go. I'll do it with you. Okay. All right. That looks really good. Now, I want you to squish it back up into one ball. Take both those worms right there. Sorry, I moved up there. Good. Put it right back in this container for me. Good job! Next we're going to have Haley play the penny bank game, and that requires a penny bank, 10 coins, as well as a stopwatch. We're going to time it within 60 seconds, and this game is going to be looking at crossing the midline, the pincer grass, motor accuracy, and in-hand manipulation. All right, Haley, I've got some pennies here, one, two, three, four, five, and a piggy bank. Move the slot right at the top here. So we're going to put them in the bank, just like this. Now you try. Good job. Grab another one. Keep using that hand that you like to use. doing great. All right, now I'm going to set up 10 coins, okay? 10 pennies. 10 pennies. We're going to put the pennies in the bank one at a time, okay? And you're going to try to do all 10 of them. You're just going to use this hand that you like to use, okay? You're going to go as fast as you can. Are you ready? Go. pennies out. And we're going to set them back up here. We're going to do it again, but we're going to use the other hand, okay? One. So we're going to do it again, just this hand, okay? You're going to start right here. You ready? Go. Take these five pennies. I'm going to have you hold out that hand for me. Good. I'm going to put these in your palm, okay? Put them right there for me. I've got some in my palm just like you. What you're going to do is move that penny into your fingertips. Okay. Good job. Once you get that penny in your fingertips, you're going to put it right in the bank. You can pick that one back up. Good 
good job. So we're going to do that for all five. Let me do one more, okay? All right. You're not going to use your other hand to help. Ready? Go. Good job. All right. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it with your other hand, okay? Ready? Go. Good job, Haley. Okay, so now we're going to go through a visual motor task, and the first one that we're going to do is the Find the Puppies game. In this game, Macy is going to be our four-year-old, and Elizabeth is our therapist. And so Macy's going to have the workbook on the table, and Elizabeth's going to ask her to find the puppies in the box of the pages. Um, and this task works on visual discrimination, um, figure ground, and scanning and sustained attention. Okay, Macy, we're going to try to find some puppies, okay? has lots of puppies. Mark all the puppies and go as fast as you can, okay? Whenever you're ready. Okay, so our last activity is going to be the writing game, which is a visual motor activity. Um, and Macy's going to be our four-year-old, and Elizabeth's going to be our therapist. Um, and Macy's going to be copying, writing, and tracing some letters out of this workbook, and it's going to work on motor accuracy. Okay, Macy, we're going to do our next activity. First, I'm going to have you write your name right over here, okay? Yes. Good job, Macy. Okay. Now we're going to trace some letters. Trace this A. Right over here. Do you see the dog line? Okay. Good job. Okay. Now trace these letters. Let's do the first one. Trace the A. Now copy these letters all by yourself. Good job, Macy. Keep going. That was great. going to write the letters I say. I'm going to time you and you're going to write neatly and use capital letters. Okay? Okay. So start here. Use as many lines as you need. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Right. H as in hat. words. Copy the word cat just like it looks here. Okay? Good. Copy
copy the letters just as you see right here, okay? That was great. Okay, now we're gonna do it all by yourself. Now write the word cat all by yourself. Good job. Look at this page. This sentence says fuzzy ducks jump over the white box. When I say go, copy this sentence on these lines. Remember to write neatly. Ready? Macy, that was great. We're going to move on to the next activity, okay?